Hey YouTube, welcome to Cooking Conversations. I am trying to get to Wendy's on my lunch break to try this new Italian mozzarella cheese sandwich. Did you guys see the picture? It looks like it has a whole big like fried piece of cheese on it. So I am really curious about this one. You get a chicken breast, the crispy or fried um, crispy chicken breast, which I wished it came with the grilled chicken, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to try it the way they have it. And there's a lettuce shortage in California. So I don't know what if it is in your area, but it's supposed to come with lettuce and tomato and a slice of mozzarella cheese on top of the fried mozzarella cheese. So this sounds like this is going to be cheesy deliciousness, but I'll let you know if it has lettuce on it or not, all right? And I'm not sure of the sauce. This kind of popped up last minute, so I didn't get a chance to find out exactly everything that I was supposed to know, but we will find out together. And I'll let you guys know, of course, how much it costs. And they also have some garlic fries. I don't know if I'll be able to eat all of that and give you guys a full review, but I definitely will um, give it a try. Also, they have a peppermint shake. So, this is what I'm thinking. I will do the um, chicken sandwich and the peppermint shake and let you guys know if it's really good. Hold on one second. So they brought the um, peppermint shake, but theirs is with flavoring. I think Chick-fil-A actually has peppermint pieces in theirs because it's all crunchy and pepperminty. I will let you guys know if it's as good as Chick-fil-A or better, all right? So we're gonna get in line at the drive-thru, try the sandwich and the shake. I'm gonna, I don't know about the fries just yet, but I will keep you posted, all right? I'll be right back. Hi, are we trying the new Italian mozzarella today? Yes, please. I'd like to try the new Italian mozzarella chicken. Okay. Did you want to do spicy or the red hot? Um, just the classic. Okay. And a large combo? No, just the sandwich. Just the sandwich itself? Yes, please. Okay. But I would like to try your peppermint frosty. Okay. Perfect. Did you want to do that large? No, just the small. All right, that'll do it. All right, it's gonna be 11.61 and that's the second window, okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, the sandwich is $8.39. The Frosty for Small is $2.39. And it comes with some garlic knot rolls, like a, the bun, instead of like the brioche bun, like what they always have. It looks like they are like garlic knots, but all combined in a bun. Okay, and it comes with a marinara sauce. All right, so and you can get it spicy or mild. Of course, I got the regular, not spicy, and it looks really good. And we're gonna try the peppermint frosty. All right, so I'm up coming up to the window. Next time you see me, I will have sandwich in hand and let you guys know exactly what I think. All right, thank you for watching. All right, you guys, I got my frosty first. First look, you can't tell based on the lighting and everything, but it's a very pale pink. So I'm kind of questioning the um, peppermint flavor, if it's really peppermint. And because they use a syrup, which I'm sure Chick-fil-A does too, it's might, I'm getting the feeling that it might be like more artificial than really an authentic peppermint flavor. But let's try the peppermint shake or peppermint frosty first. All right, it's very thick in typical Wendy's fashion, and they gave me a spoon, so I'm gonna um, let you guys know if this is really good. Now, the strawberry one they did was really good. I don't know about this one. Okay. <laughs> It tastes like peppermint. But it's nothing special. It just tastes like vanilla frost, vanilla soft serve with peppermint syrup, which is what 
I guess everybody does, but yeah. Yeah, it has that artificial flavor on it. That <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm, yeah. I don't know what they could have did to make it better besides grinding up some um peppermint candies in it or some whipped cream or maybe some more syrup, but it's just okay. It's not nothing special about it. So for that reason, I'm going to give the Peppermint Frosty a 7. Boop. It's just okay. All right. Now, this sandwich, it smells delicious. You guys are going to get first look. I'm going to open this up. Oh, look at that. The marinara sauce is there. Where is this big? Whoa. Look, this is the fried mozzarella. It's like a whole nother chicken patty. Oh, maybe that'll be my thumbnail. Thumbnail. Okay, and you get the marinara sauce. Look at this bread. Okay, now I see what they mean when they say the garlic knots because it's all sectioned. And look at this. This must be the brown garlic flavoring or something on there. It's soft and it's toasted. Oh my goodness. Let's open this baby up. Woo! It's full of sauce. So they didn't skimp on the sauce. We ain't got no dry bread. And no, it does not come with lettuce and tomato. So I was wrong on that one. Forgive me. All right. So here's the sliced cheese. All right. We going in. Let's have at it. I'm going to bite on the cheese side and the sauce side. Here we go. Oh, you know what? Let me try this bread. Oh, yep. It's like a garlic knot. The bread just comes right off in the sections. Mmm. The bread is good. Mm-hmm. It's garlicky and seasoned. Soft. Okay. Mmm. The marinara sauce is good, too. Oh, this is this might be a win. Okay, chicken, melted cheese. Hmm. Okay. It's good. I don't know what it's missing though. I don't know if my personal preference is that it needs onions or pickles or something. It's seasoned and it's flavorful, but it needs something else. I don't know what that is, but just something else to like take it up a notch. But it is good. Um, I probably would get it again if I had a coupon or something, but for that reason, I'm going to give it a 9. Boop. It can't get a perfect 10 because even though it's good and it's exactly what they said it is, it's cheesy, deliciousness, the sauce is good, the bread is good, but it needs some pickles or some onions or something else to take it up a notch, all right? Go try it. Let me know what you think and, and tell me. Let's have a cooking conversation, all right? I'll see you in my next video. I'm getting back to work and thank you guys so much for your support. Have a good day.